أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم As the scribe equals to Allah to mislead from his path Say you beloved, enjoy for a while your end is on the fire Say to those bondsmen of mine who believe that they should keep Salah established and spend some in our path from what we have given secretly and openly before the arrival of that day in which there will be no trade nor any friendship. It is Allah who created the heavens and the earth and sent down water from the sky, thereby producing some food for you to eat and made the bowl. Kept serving to you that day, the boats may sail through the river by his command, and made the river subservient to you. And he made the sun and the moon subservient to you, which are constantly moving, and made the night and the day subservient to you. And he granted you much of what you asked for, and if you count the favors of Allah, you will therefore not be able to count them. Indeed, man is very unjust, most ungrateful. And remember when Ibrahim said humbly, O oh my Lord, make this town Mecca secure and safeguard me and my sons for worshipping idols. O oh my Lord, the idols have undoubtedly led many people astray. Whosoever therefore sided with me is mine, and whoever disobeyed me, so you are indeed most forgiving, ever merciful. O oh my Allah, I made some of my offspring settle in a valley wherein there is no cultivation near your sacred house. O oh Allah, in order that they may establish Salah so that you cause some hearts to incline towards them and provide them food to eat, perhaps they acknowledge. O oh our Lord, you know that we conceal and what we disclose, and nothing is hidden from Allah, neither in the earth nor in the heaven. All praise is due to Allah, who gave me Ismail and Ishaq in my old day. Indeed, my Allah is the listener, acceptor of supplication. Oh my Allah, make me the one who keeps Allah established, and also to some of my offspring, O oh Allah. And answer my supplication, O oh, our Lord, forgive me and my parents and all the Muslims on the day when accountability will take place. And don't ever consider Allah as unaware of the deeds of the unjust. He is not giving them respite, but for that day in which the eyes will remain staring fixedly in the horror. They shall come out running in panic with their heads raised up that their eyelashes do not return towards them and their hearts will not at all have any strength and warn the people from that day when the punishment will come upon them then just will therefore the, oh, our lord give us respite for a little while for us to obey your call and follow the messenger it will be said so had you not sworn and each other that we are not going by moving away from this world and you resided in the houses of those who had wronged themselves, and it became very clear to you how we had dealt with them, and we explained to you by giving examples. And they indeed carried out their scheme, and their scheming is in the control of Allah, and their scheme was not such that could move these mountains. So do not ever assume that Allah will not fulfill His promise to His Messenger. Indeed, Allah is the dominant, the honor of retribution. On that day, when the earth will be changed to all the, then this earth and the heavens too, and the people will all come forth standing before Allah, the one, the dominant over all. And on that day, you will see the culprits go with one another in chains. Their clocks will be of pitch, sticky, black, and breaking liquid, and the fire will cover their faces in order that Allah may repair 
each sound according to what it had earned. Indeed, Allah does not take long to the account. This is the Quran is the commandment to be conveyed to the people and for the reason that they may be warned by it and for this reason that they may come to know that He is the only one Allah and for this reason that men of understanding may accept advice. Jazakallah, see you more videos. Subscribe, like, comment and press the bell icon. Thank you so much.